So, Brad. Uh huh. Schmuck douchebagski. Alter ego. Yes. Uh, yeah, Gabby was asking about you yesterday. Oh. She said, Oh, where's your little partner in crime? Well, you know, Todd. And I said that uh, he's out uh, on a quest for the Holy Grail today. Why don't you tell us all about that? Oh, well, it was a good experience. Um, had to go back to Kissimmee, my old stomping grounds. To oh, go God to go get my medical records and the hospital is conveniently located right in the same area where the best crack cocaine in the county is also located. How convenient. Yes, very convenient. So you can, you know, shoot an ounce of cocaine and then the hospital's right there for you. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, I had to go right back into the belly of the beast, as it were, and uh, see some of the places that I was living at and the way I was living and uh, the things I was doing and I had to do it sober and that was a new experience for me because unless I was dope sick drunk wanting to get drunk or completely fucked up I was never sober in that town in the seven years that I lived there and uh, I started looking around at a lot of the places that I had been sleeping next to shooting up places I got drunk, stores I used to frequent to buy my alcohol, and uh, a, lot of, a lot of emotions, a lot of different things came, into my, uh, came to my attention. Number one was that a lot of the places that I was passing by as old haunts, a surprising number of them were dumpsters or the immediate area of a dumpster. And, that was because during my using and abusing, the dumpster was the nucleus of my existence. I slept near them, shot up behind them, uh, got money out of them, such as scrap metal and things like that. Even ate out of them. Like which, a raccoon. Like a raccoon. I am essentially a raccoon. Raccoon boy. Raccoon boy, yes. And uh, But it was good because it, it reminded me if I'm under any false or, or I'm having any any thoughts of drinking or putting another needle in my arm even eating one Vicodin which at this point wouldn't do a fucking thing but if I'm, I have any uh, misconceptions that I can do some controlled drinking or drug using I just remember that I really 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 don't want to go back to being known as dumpster man as I am. You mentioned that uh, there were some people in Kissimmee that wanted to do you bodily harm. Did you run into any of those characters? No, I didn't run into any of those characters. And uh, either I'm under the grace of God and he was protecting me, or more than likely those people are dead or in jail. And Well, good. That was startling as Fuck well. Them. The number of people that, that are in jail or dead since I've been sober is kind of startling. But, you know, nothing's changed there. Nobody wants to change. Nobody wants to get clean. Nobody wants to get sober. They just want to stay in this this purgatory of misery and suffering. What do you suffering. want? I want more. I always wanted more when I was an addict, more of the drug. But now I just want more of what I'm getting out of life right now. I'm making money. I have a roof over my head. And I can't, I'm not going to, you know, go back to being living behind a dumpster doing the things I'm doing right now. So with that conclusion, if I'm not going down and I'm not staying idle, because I don't do that, I'm too fucking hyper, then I'm going up. And if I'm going up, I know that I just want more good things. Good things? Good things. Good things? Nothing but good things. That was good, Brad. Thank you for sharing.